My next step is to take my color theory and apply it to an object. So here I have a Q-tip holder, right? I'm gonna take the Q-tips out because that's like confusing and crazy when I try and draw it. I'm just gonna look at this little fella up here in the light. Maybe I wanna put this cup up behind him in my, in my view on my table. I'm gonna draw him, all right? So first maybe I take my pencil and I see that I've got this sort of elliptical shape happening here. I'm gonna see him maybe off to the side like this, right? I see an elliptical shape here. It's sort of rounder on the top than it is on the bottom. There's an alignment through here where I've got sort of this shape up on top that connects down to here. Draw an ellipse where that connects to this. This actually changes from white to orange right there. Then his little body comes down about this far from an ellipse that he's standing in a bucket. There's a shape down here. He's actually got a phallus there. And his arms come down like this. His legs come down like so. This is a little joke on the old Italian fountain, right? Italian company made Alessi made this Q-tip holder. So I'm seeing something like this. This eye is clear over here. This eye I'm seeing over here. There's a little nose out here, perhaps. It feels really weird because I got his neck wrong, so I'm gonna correct that now. He's only about that wide. So if you have these pen lines and you correct it, if you only color into the inside here, where you want us to see, that'll work just fine, right? Now I went into that without thinking about my highlight. So I'm gonna to have to take my pencils, probably I'm gonna take a yellow or a cream or something. I'm gonna go onto another sheet of paper. And I'm gonna say, what would be a good highlight on that? Because I'm seeing a highlight come right down here on his body. I'm of course reserving the whites of his eyes. This I said is where it turns orange up here. His nose is gonna be black, so I know I can draw over that. I don't need to reserve that really. And I'm gonna take this on a shade it in, or color it in rather, using cross contour marks, right? I want this to go around and around and around and around. I'm chipping my marker in up to the edge of the drawing and pulling it out from the edges. Moving away from the line towards the middle is a much safer way for me to draw. So see how you're seeing the orange part? You're not really even seeing my mistakes out here anymore, are you? This whole thing I'm gonna draw in an orange, but now I'm gonna learn from my mistakes. I'm gonna put some yellow out here where I wanna highlight on that cylinder. This time I see a highlight like right here. So I'm taking my yellow up here to repair where I forgot my highlight. Lightening that up just a little bit so I see the highlight there. In my white, maybe I'm gonna go 10% when it's time, right? 
and I'm going to reserve my highlight at the front of this and let this be 10%. And then where that drops around the corner, I'm going to make this 30. And then I'm probably going to go in with the 50. Give it a shot of corn, it'll really pop that out. It'll make it look really round. This eye is in shadow, and this eye is in light. So this eye I'm going to bring down to my 30%, like it's in the reflected light portion. Not filling in the dots as much as I am. See how I changed that? See how there's a black line going up above that? I put that pupil too high, so I changed and moved it. Now I got to decide where I want that line to actually be. And then I got to decide what my shadow is going to be. I did like the brown in there more than I liked the um, than the other. So I'm going to take my goldenrod, and I see a shadow coming right through here. So I'm going to make all of this reflected light goldenrod. Inviting light from shadow here. This is all shaded in here. And he's casting a shadow up across here. So I'm going to see that doing this. I haven't got a core, so I'm going to go, what did I do for my orange core? Where's my notes? Might have been good to write over here what these were and what I did, right? I took a brown pencil there, didn't I? I'm going to take a warm brown. I think I used the burnt ochre. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to give myself a core. Coming right along there. And then I want to go a little softer as it fades into lighter still, as it fades into my reflected light. I'm going to really wail on it. I'm going to go with the medium. I'm going to go with the light. Let's kind of blend that all in. And over here, maybe I want to be really precise about what this shot is doing. Have more control with pencils. So here I'm being precise, just like I did with the inking before. Coming in here. Maybe putting a little bit of a 
a line into that like so. Now, of course, I can come back to this with my pen at the end. Be really precise if I want to. In there. Looks like I need to get back in there with the orange a little bit and clean that up some. Yeah. This on the table, if I didn't want to have that there, what I would do is I'd put another object behind it and I would draw over top of it and shade it in. Or I would um, put a little bit of the color of the table coming out from there or something. If I wanted to take like my sand, if I had a wood table. See what sand does next to that. Yeah, it might be okay. I could take this and just stroke it out from there like that in a way that might give him sort of a stand up off the table kind of look. Not super happy with what's happening in here. So I want to go in and I want to firm up that edge for sure. And it's time to go down on the table. I'm going to take my 70 in here. And say he's casting a shadow starting right there, coming back in this direction. Chip it up to the edge, pull it out. Probably should draw that in with my pencil or a pen before I define it too much. Figure out where that shadow is going to come back here and kind of cast it off that way. Usually with this kind of thing, I'm not too specific about the shapes of the shadows. And I come into it and I just fade it out. I go from 70 to 50 along this edge here. And then on that edge, I'll go to 30 and then I just kind of let it blend into zero. Um, 